Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Civil Engineering videos. Today our lecture is based on the bending stress analysis. In this lecture, we are going to analyze the bending stresses in a beam. It should be kept in mind that there are two types of stages in the bending stresses. One is called the stresses in the elastic stage. And the second one is called the stresses in the plastic stage. So I will explain the elastic stage first and then later on I will explain the plastic stage that how the bending stresses in the plastic stage. Let us consider that this is the simply supported beam with the load P is acting at the center of the beam. So due to this load, the, due to this load acting in the center of the beam, this beam will try to reflect in this way and it will show the maximum reflection here at this point at the middle of the beam. So, first of all, by considering the elastic stage, we assume that this load is too small that the stresses in the beam is in the elastic limit. If I draw the stress and strain diagram for this beam now, stresses on the y-axis, strain on the x-axis, so I assume that my this load acting on this beam is too small that it does not create the stresses into the plastic stage, but it creates the stresses only in the elastic range. So I can draw this stress diagram like this. I know that my this load is in this range. If I remove this load, the beam will again come its own, into its original position. So it means that this load creates the stresses in the elastic limit. And we call the stresses now in the elastic stage. So if I take the cross section of this beam, let take the cross section AA, of this beam and I draw the cross section here so due to this load there are some stresses created in this beam and we know that these stresses are called as the bending stresses because these stresses creates due to the bending of the beam so bending stresses have two forces one is called the compression and one is called the tension so that due to this load the compression will create at the top of the beam and tension will create at the bottom of the beam and there will be some middle axis of the beam where there is a transition from compression to the tension and we call this this transition is the neutral axis of the beam these are called as the neutral axis and where the stresses changes from the compression into tension so if I draw the strain diagram for this beam So its strain diagram will be look like this and with this is strain in the concrete and with the it shows the strain in the steel and it, these both strains are in the elastic limit similarly if I draw the stresses diagram for this strain for this for this beam so the stresses here in the beam in the, in the compression compression stresses and here it will show the tension stresses so I can present here the stresses here in tension and stresses here in compression while this axis will continue throughout the length of the beam sorry throughout the cross section of the beam it's called the neutral axis where the beam stresses changes from the compression into tension so this is the one way in which the beam behaves in elastic way and the stresses are in elastic limit so if I this show the compressive force this will be the compressive force acting and this will be the tension force acting at this point of the beam which is actually the one third of the triangle from this point now let's consider that my load is changing now and this load is being increasing I present is the P with delta P this load is now increasing and we are going into the plastic stage of the beam so this arrow will be moved towards like in this way and my beam is going now into the plastic stage so this is now in the plastic stage where the beam cannot return its to original position. So what happens to the cross section of the beam? If I extend this, this references line, what happens 
that now these stresses, these stresses which were linear before, these will not be any more linear now, but it will be like in plastic, and then it will show linear. Similarly here, it will be like plastic, and it will be again linear. So you can see here that there are some plastic stresses created in this portion, this small portion of the beam. Similarly, if I increasing the load more and more, this beam cross section will be going into more plastic, like in this case, in this way. You can see here the beam is going more into the plastic stage. And finally, if this load is too much increased and this beam reaches into the plastic limit of this, of this beam, so it will look like in this way where the whole compression is in plastic similarly the whole tension is also in the plastic so now the compression force here acting and the tension force acting here will be in the plastic state and this whole beam is now in the plastic state and after after increasing this load there will be some hinges created at this point of the beam and we call these hinges is the plastic hinges because this point is the ultimate point of the beam where upon more increase of the load will collapse the beam. So in a short summary, we got two main stages of the beam while bending. One is called the elastic stage and one is called the plastic stage. In elastic stage, when the load is small, when the load amount is small, so the beam deflects only in elastic way and you can find the stresses in elastic region. You can see here the linear line, it shows the, the stresses are in elastic stage. And the load your, your load will act under this curve under below this line but when you increase the load with the time then this linear portion will change into the plastic portion you can see here there's a small rectangle form here and upon more increasing this small rectangle will increases will increases until it reaches to the plastic stage where the whole rectangle is being plastic now so this was all about that how the bending stresses and the beam occur and due to this load, it will show two different type of stresses. One is called the stresses in the elastic stage and one is stresses in the plastic stage. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.